Hello and welcome to episode 5, week 5. Uh, again, not quite sure how I'm going to keep the format. One thing I did notice from my last video was the amount of erms I said, so I'm very conscious to try and cut down on that because clearly I'm very professional, as you can see by this lovely layout with all the bits of fluff and smudges on, on a glass surface which you get. Still ill. I filmed this back to back with the, the last episode so if it goes live a week on Sunday you know that I haven't died which is brilliant unless I schedule it and I've done it from beyond the grave. But all seriousness, still live and kicking, yippee, uh, again I've just said erm, um, brilliant but I thought I'd ch you know have a little bit of a, a change this week by going by eBay again. The reason being is I bought this a few weeks ago and completely forgot that I bought it. Picked it up before the apocalypse hit from the post office. And I thought, oh dear, I better check that it's okay because we've been eBay. The time passes where you can make a complaint if they sent you a brick in the post. This, I think I got a good deal. I think it was like 35, 40 Hot Wheels for £12 including postage, which is ridiculous. The Royal Advertisers being in mint or near mint, so <laughs> we'll see. And I thought, brilliant. Great way to get a bulk of Hot Wheel cars on the cheap. And hopefully they're not rusty and they're not broken. We'll see what we've got. I generally do not know. Again, when I look on eBay for these deals, I look for... You know, a rough picture to have a glance, but I like to keep it a mystery, you know, let's see what I've got sort of thing. I think it's more fun for me as well. This is the first time I've properly seen them. So let's, uh, let's go for it. So yeah, it's, it is, you know, please handle with care. So nice one, uh, eBay seller. At least you, you bothered to kind of prepare or pre-worn the, the post, not to fling it up through my door or at my door. Uh, it's quite a big sort of package, has a bit of weight to it. It's about the size of um, A4 piece of paper. But yeah, it's pretty good. So, trusty uh, something knife. Again, I, I have no idea what's in here. Could be anything. Hopefully Hot Wheels, not a brick, not a dead cat. I have, in the past, uh, had somebody send me something. Uh, it was supposed to be a computer game, and they sent me a VHS, because obviously they were mass selling. Um, I wouldn't have minded, but the VHS was something really, really uh, you know, common, not that I have a VHS player. So obviously... There was an error made on their behalf, uh, but they, they honoured it and swapped it out. But, okay, let's see what we have. I'm just going to pull these at random. We'll go through it. Try and be as quick as possible. Obviously, they're all out of the box, so at least you'll be able to see them better. Uh, I probably won't know what these are off the top of my head. But I'm sure I'll be able to see. Uh, Drift Tech. See, Ghostbusters themed. Uh, true fact, Ghostbusters is my all-time favourite film. Not off by heart. Second one, okay. First one, absolutely amazing. Interesting to see what they do for the, the third instalment coming out this year. Kind of looks like Stranger Things with the, the kids sort of perspective, but I hear Louis Tully's coming back and, you know, Peter Venkman and all the great sort of uh, stars, you know, that you sort of knew as a kid. We'll see. Hopefully it's going to be brilliant. It's like um, uh, a June buggy. What's this called? No idea. It doesn't have a, th uh, a name on it. I'm sure I've got one of these from a previous video. Wow. This is pretty cool. This is uh, H2GO. That's pretty sweet. 
these uh, aquaplane sort of uh, vehicles. I do like that a lot. This is a cool muscle car. The uh, Flame, it's a Chevy. I do like that uh, pink sort of uh, fleck with the flame. Very nice car. So far, these have been absolutely mint. What's this one? Michigan J Frog. What's that one? Horseplay. Obviously, a, like um, horsepower, maybe play on that. Do you like that one? That's pretty cool with the chrome. Oops. Oh, this is um, looks like one of the the winter sort of theme special edition ones. That's pretty cool. Yep, buy that. What's this one? Oh, another winter one. That's uh, from 2017. With the uh, the gold sort of effect. Scoopa de Fuego. I probably butchered that. It's a pretty cool fantasy card. What's this one? Uh, like a, a Humvee? With the spare wheel on the back. That's pretty cool with the, uh, the fl um, like skull, like flame. Lightning, whatever thing. Barge of Born. Is that the same as that one? Oh, more or less. More space. This is a big chunky one. Is this one uh, Beat All. That's pretty cool. This is uh, a bit of a uh, the over over the top, uh, like a snow shoveler. That's pretty cool. Do like that one. Kind of like a um, a drag sort of car. It's gonna look awesome when I uh, finally get my uh, stuff together. Um, it's the same as this one, but a different colour scheme. Ah, I know it looks like it looks like a, a beetle with the uh, the pincers at the front. Yeah, obviously beat all, beat all, duh. That's pretty cool though. That's still going. This is pretty cool. This is uh, like a crocodile. Or an alligator. Does it say what it is? No. Nope. I do like that with the uh, the metal base though. And the, the, the colour scheme. That's really cool. Oops. Uh, just not the light flying because... Clearly, I'm a super professional. Oh, this is one of the. Uh, oh, that's a bit, a bit of damage. That's a bit of muck. One of the uh, station wagon things that um, I got literally in the last episode, I think. Part of the uh, the Daredevil range with the random different colour scheme. That's pretty cool. Good old uh, little mini. Uh, or Morris, I think some people know them as. Yeah, Morris Mini. Uh, owned by, I think, BMW now. Great little uh, hot hatch. Uh, obviously seen in films like The Italian Job. Especially if you get the uh, the Cooper ones. Like Secret Sleepers. Uh, my best friend actually owns uh, a newer model one. Ridiculously fast for what it is. Like little pocket rockets. What's this one? Uh, no. <laughs> little hot hatch again with the uh, random letters and numbers with uh, crash and zoom. That's pretty cool with the the pink and the yellow wheels. Another awesome sort of fantasy one with uh, a dragon. That was well cool with the purple wings. I do like that a lot. Oh, this feels a uh, very, very uh, cheap bit of scuff damage. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. As you can see with the, uh, the characters there. Don't like this. I'm not going to lie. It, feel, it, it weighs absolutely nothing. I mean, it's shiny, but yeah, not, not, not great. Let's 
we've still got more cars to come. Uh, I think so far this has been uh, well worth the £12, whatever it cost me. That's this one. Nice sort of, again, snowplow sort of uh, truck. What's this one? Yeah, lovely. <laughs> Tells me a lot of information. I do like that though. This is pretty cool. Like a hovercraft. Haven't seen one in person, but from what I see, they're absolutely massive. But I do like that sort of mixture of hovercraft and sort of car. Uh, I've seen these before. It's like a, one of the bubble blowers. Don't know if uh, I'd actually try. I was supposed to say uh, bubble matic. Cool idea though. It's good to have you know a car with some sort of uh, practical, not practical, but um, sort of dual usage. Oh, so a lot more. I'm reaching deep. Well, into the corner. What's this one? Chill Mill? That was random. Kind of reminds me of one of these electric milk floats, uh, which was, you know, popular in the UK. When you used to get your milk delivered. Uh, not so much now. Everybody uh, buys from sort of supermarkets. But I remember as a kid having, you know, um, a guy used to come and deliver the milk and the the fresh fruit and veg, which is pretty handy. Uh, this looks like one of these June ones. Uh, terrain Storm, a little four before sort of uh, sand hopper thing. Not sure why it's got holes in there, but still pretty cool. Have we got any more? Oh yeah. So let's get rid of this uh, layer of bubble wrap. Oh, there's a good few more left. What's this one? That's very uh, flat. What's this one? A uh, formulator. That's pretty cool. It's uh, sort of like Formula One sort of uh, squashed sort of car. Again, these are mint, uh, except for the guy in the Galaxy one. Well worth uh, what I picked up. Uh, this has actually got two little guys in it. It's uh, pretty sweet. What's this? Track hammer. Very uh, sleek and slim lined. I wonder if the uh, the wheels glow in the dark actually, because they look like possibly they could. Uh, bubble wrap. Let's uh, another handful. Inside. Wow, this is pretty cool. The uh, Pizza Express sort of uh, van with. <laughs> going by last time when I sort of uh, didn't know what I was talking about with the exhaust, so I presume they're exhaust rather than wings. That's pretty cool. Four Transit Connect. One almost uh, the same colour with really cool sort of fleck design on this. Again, I wonder if these wheels are the, uh, the glow in the dark special ones. That was pretty cool. I thought the spoiler might go up, but no, it doesn't. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah. <laughs> Random. Tour de Fast, obviously it's got a, a couple of bikes on, so it's going to the, the Tour de France. Uh, where I am we have the Tour de Yorkshire, it's quite big. Every year I think they have it as like um, one of the sort of stages before Tour de France, probably wrong. Big for where I live because they, they literally use the, 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 the main roads and they block them off for the cyclists. I think one of the years I actually went past my house, uh, I think it was on a Sunday, and I fell asleep, <laughs> completely missed all the fun and action, and since then it's never gone past my house, so I messed that up. Uh, this is one of the, uh, I think the Tuned, with the little squashed little cars, not a massive sort of fan of these uh, little squash things, they look pretty cool with a random sort of T on it, and what does that say? Epic, ooh, epic. Oh, have we got any more left? Yep, a couple more. Uh, this is also from the uh, the X Racers. So one of his, it's probably from one of the uh, multi packs, maybe. Have I ever seen a couple of it? Mm, nope. This is the first one, maybe. 
Uh, so I'm just checking some of the, uh, the beetle ones of the translucent bodies to see if they were part of like a five pack maybe. But that's uh, Cloak and Dagger. That's pretty cool. Kind of like uh, the old school sort of Batmobile. I'm actually running out of space now. I've got so many of these uh, the cars. Um, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen one of these before with the two different size sort of uh, wheels. Um, I thought it kind of sit so it's sort of raised up slightly, but I do like that sort of uh, fantasy sort of uh, muscle car. The front looks pretty dodgy though, with the small wheels, but yeah, it's cool. Oh, I thought we'd uh, run out It'd be really quick because it's up to 16 minutes. Which is insane. Uh, I see one of these uh, tooled ones. I love the. Uh, the oh, that's pretty metal. <laughs> I wonder if you'd actually use that as a tool, as a sort of a, a wrench or a spanner, as we call it. It's pretty cool. Love the pickup from one of these uh, crazy series with the C on it. Try not to spell anything rude. Uh, but it is a licensed car, it's a Chevy. I do like the, uh, the graffiti on that. Uh, I do love these um, sort of toaster ones. Uh, I have seen uh, a few online. Uh, they always seem to be rubbed here though, but that's uh, mint. I do love that design. I do love the fact that you can sort of play around with it. And uh, as I nearly knocked the camera out, last two cars. Uh, yeah, were these? Uh, no, it's not a squash one. Just a, a very compact car. Love the uh, checked sort of design with the block shapes. That's pretty cool. And the last one, because I'm sure you're all sick of hearing my uh, voice now. Uh, this is a obviously Looney Tunes sort of a themed one. So this will be from probably one of the, not limited edition, but uh, away from the, the mainline Hot Wheels. So I'm not really collecting these too much, but if I see them, obviously part of this, I'm going to get it anyway. Uh, but I'm not going to pay the extortionate prices. They go for like five quid in the shop, three, four, five pounds. It's like double, triple the price of a normal Hot Wheels just because it's licensed, which is madness. That's a good way to end. Uh, just a quick scour of how many I've got. Five, ten. I've got about 32, 35. Rough guess. I'm not going to go through and count them on, on camera. Uh, one of my favourites is probably this. Um, I just love the design. Hopefully it's going to fit in my storage thing. Uh, but we'll see. I will be buying more of those down the line, but... You know, £35 pound, uh, a pop. It's an expensive project, experiment, hobby to do all this, but as long as I don't go mental, we should be fine. Uh, next episode, I've got to go through quite a few uh, five packs, so a bit of a spoiler. I'll explain if they're worth it and uh, the pros and cons, if there is any. But uh, yeah, a bit longer than normal. Apologise if I've waffled on, but it's nearly 20 minutes. Uh, but... Thanks for watching and uh, if you like, subscribe. And again, if you want to see a random daily picture of on Instagram, I do upload every day. Um, again, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.